Well, I started the John Mamecha Foundation together with John. We played rugby at high school together, and we we're fortunate to be in business and 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 and, and do a couple of things in business. So we're trying to give back to the sport that made who we are. Our aim is to come back to our province where we where we where we started playing rugby to come give back to the kids in the rural areas that never had opportunities that we had. We went to we were fortunate to go to better schools and we played rugby, but now we want to give back. We want them to start playing the game. And this being our second year, having joined hands with the Department of Sports, Arts and Culture, the Blue Bulls, it's working well for us because we, we're now growing, growing our initiative, growing what we're trying to do, and um, it, it's going the way we would like it to go. We've got teams and girls who participated in the school sports championships in Durban this year. They are here out showcasing their talent. We've got girls who participate in the provincial school sports competition because the age as well caters for school. It will help us, uh, it, this project, help us in a lot for 2017 in preparing for the provincial under 16 team because we've got uh, our scouts here. They are scouting the girls who are 15 years, who are 14 because they will be qualifying as per Boxmart uh, age bending regulation to participate for our provincial under 16. So after this tournament, they will be taken to a high performance program where we'll have about 20 to 30 players that we'll select today and we'll work with them with the provincial coaches. So the program helps us in the, as a federation uh, within the Blue Bulls and also the department as well to take the sport to the people because most of the girls here are from pure rural uh, and it will help them a lot to showcase their talent so that they are seen being playing rugby as we have been playing for the past five to six years. Back. I've had two questions every time. Every time that the first question is, why just rugby? And the second one would be, why just the boys? As you can see this year, we added the girls, so, so at least we're growing and um, you have to have a starting point. Having seen the difficulties of, of some of the rural schools that they have to go through just to make it, uh, that's what's given me the drive to actually, when I, um, the day I retired, I said to myself, listen, I want to give back and um, for me, just to see the kids out here playing and having so much fun, I think that puts a smile on my face. There's a lot of talent all over the townships, all over the villages around, and unfortunately now we only catch those that go to better schools. And these kids are watching them. They've got the feel, they've got the hands, they want to play, they've got the feet, and all you've got to do is just nurture it so that it becomes a part of a bigger structure. We, our first two games, we did really best. And um, we, we did what we do at practice. And we, we really worked hard to get here. Um, actually, I never thought we could win this game, but then, yeah, we, we did our best. We worked so hard and put more effort on everything we do. Today was so amazing. I've never had this kind of day in my life, so I really enjoyed it. It was the best day of my life. The tournament of this magnitude assists in terms of promotion of the game and also to market ourselves. So most of the teams that you have here, especially for girls, even the boys as well, we do have programs uh, within the federation together with the school sports uh, from the Department of Sport Art and Culture, where in they've got regular tournaments where they are participating on, especially with the school sports program whereby the age group of under 15s are dominating, uh, so that when they are 16, when they are 18, they are within the system and they continue to play, not only to come play today, and when they go back, they don't have a competition where they participate on. So in this program we see sustainability, we see the future and we just hope, trust and believe that the partners in the program will join hands together and make sure that in the five years these athletes can make it in the mainstream of rugby. Our aim is not to make spring box, our aim is to get rugby around, to get kids to start playing the game, kids to recognize the game, to enjoy the game as much as they enjoy other sports. And we both are passionate about rugby. And uh, we thank Department of Sports, Arts and Culture. We thank the Blue Bulls who have come on board. And John's been doing a sterling job to drive us uh, as, as a quartet to make this a success.